lost again. Well, let's see. I was practicing my orienteering skills and I lost my way. I don't understand. I bet everybody has already made it back to headquarters. I wonder if they read the orienteering section in their keeper guides. I've got to start reading the book that keeps me alive. Hello YouTubers, it's Gloria Bestefan here. It seems I have gotten myself into a bit of a pickle. I am lost, again! Does anybody have any suggestions? Joshua says, put one foot in front of the other. Well, that's helpful. Hmm. Ellie says to look at where the sun is in the sky to figure out North Star to East and West. Now we're getting somewhere. Hmm. That's West, that's North, and that's South. That's East? So that means I'm heading East. Great job, YouTuber friends. I'm pretty positive we stumbled into a gorilla family. That is so exciting. Did you YouTubers know that gorillas like to cozy up in their entire family at night? They also like to eat all day long. I would love to be able to eat cheese sticks and pizza. Well, wouldn't you know, there's my keeper family. I'm over here, guys. Kuhara, YouTube friends. can see hey, oh, hey, oh. the wonderful things you have for me. Hey, oh, hey, oh. Open my eyes so I can be hey, oh, hey, oh. all that you have planned for me. Head up, head down. Hey, oh, hey, oh. Arms to the sky, arms to the ground. can see hey, oh, hey, oh. the wonderful things you have for me. Hey, oh, hey, oh. Open my eyes so I can be hey, oh, hey, oh. all that you have planned for me. Head up, head down. Hey, oh, hey, oh. Arms to the sky, arms to the ground. Monkey, monkey with it. Head up, head down. Arms to the sky, arms to the ground. Come on now, spin around. Stop. Monkey, monkey with it. do-gooder keepers why do they keep talking about being nice and Jesus and helping others <laughs> look what I got here I guess I'm, I'm gonna steal me a gorilla today steady steady ouch an ant bite Whoa, I'm not gonna hurt you. Ha <laughs> I know, playtime's over and go get a banana or something. Ugh, you sound so bad. And now I don't wanna hug you. Help, help! I think I hear somebody crying for help. Ugh, help! I'm getting closer. No, help! Uh, how do we help him? I don't know, it's those goody-goody Jesus-loving keepers. All the people, it had to be them. Ah, it kinda hurts, help! 
What are we going to do? Got quite a grip on him. I think she thinks he's her, he's her baby. What? I know, we'll pray for him. In the name of Jesus, let him go. It's not by might or power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Let him loose now. Thank you guys. Helping each other is what we're here for. I know, I heard you, all your stories. Just tell me one thing. Sure. Is any of it true? It sure is. Are all the stories true? Yeah, it sure is. Every single one of them. Well, uh, my heart feels kind of weird and uh, thank you. Well, that was different. Not really. How? Didn't you see how he was acting? He's been listening to our stories, and we just saved him, and he said thank you. Something tells me that the poacher isn't going to be poaching anymore. The poacher is telling me that Jesus was doing with his heart. We see him. Come on, let's go get some footage of these gorillas. The internet names animals. All right, we're gonna give you some funky names for animals and you have to guess who that animal actually is. Gothic land lobster. Who could it be? Um, oh, a scorpion. Wow, okay, that was weird, but I think I get it. Tall horse McTree head. Uh, a horse and a tree, I don't know. Oh, a moose? Yeah, uh, that one was tough. All right, all right, here we go. Next one. Formal chicken. Maybe a raptor? Um, uh, a penguin? Man, I was way off. All right, everyone, let's prepare ourselves. Let's prepare ourselves. Ton of fur lion cow. What could this be? A bison? Wow, I would not have guessed that. That's pretty hard. Delicious McNugget pigeon. Nothing has to do with a chicken. Yeah, I was right, chicken. Yeah. Woo. Okay, giraffe sheep. Wow, I, can you guys guess this one? <laughs> a llama, ah, okay, that makes a little more sense. Shocky McNope rope, <laughs> maybe some kind of snake? I don't know. Electric eel, wow, mm, interesting. Tyrannosaurus deer, well, it's gotta be some kind of, uh, oh, kangaroo, before I could even guess, mm, okay. Panda fish. Um, gotta be some kind of water animal. Oh, a killer whale. They do look like pandas, kind of, don't they? Um, freedom glider. Oh, it's gotta be some kind of bird. What do you guys think? The bald eagle. Ah, okay. Well, thanks so much for playing, guys. Till next time. Bye bye. John Book Keepers, as you can see, we have some friends behind us today. The gorillas in the Wild Kingdom of Fireheart live very long, happy lives. We've come to know them and give them names. Gorillas love volcanic mountains and juggle lowlands. Gorillas live in groups called bands. One single band of gorillas can have up to 50 family members. They're often led by a dominant male called a silverback. Each day in the life of a gorilla has a purpose. Mornings are feeding time, afternoons are playing and grooming time, and at night, gorillas settle down to sleep. Their babies learn everything from their mamas and their band family. It's the same with you. When we give our hearts to Jesus, we become part of the family of God. Our days should be filled with purpose. While our friends, the gorillas, spend the morning eating, we can set aside time in the morning to feed ourselves from God's word, the Bible. Did you know that gorillas usually don't need to drink water from lakes or streams? They get all the water they need from their food and the morning dew. In John 7, 37, Jesus says that if we're thirsty, we can come to Jesus. And in Mark 1, 35, Jesus even loved getting up in the morning so he could pray. If Jesus could do it, then so can we. Kahari Keepers! Jumbo Keepers, is there any animal more entertaining in the zoo other than a gorilla or an ape? 
Sure, you can say tigers, monkeys, penguins, and whatnot are pretty entertaining, but the gorillas are amazing to watch. Gorillas are powerful and they're curious. It would be really scary, however, to run into one in the wild. While it's a fun experience to see them safely in a zoo, it can be super scary to see them up close. You could say that we have a choice whether we want to say, do we want the scary experience or do we want the safe experience? Like when our mom asks us who broke this in the house or who drew that picture on the wall. We have a choice to tell the truth, which is safe and right, or we can lie, which is super duper dangerous. And that reminds me of today's Bible story. Ananias and Sapphira sold a piece of land. Safe and good thing, right? Ding, 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 ding. But then they went to go take some money to the apostles and lied so they can keep some of that money for themselves. Time out. That's when it gets dangerous. They weren't just lying to Peter, James, and John. They were lying to God. And both of them fell down dead because of it. They were lying to God and they both fell down dead because of it. When we do wrong things, we should remember that if we lie about it to our parents, that's not safe, that's pretty scary. And we lie about it to our teachers, that's not safe, that's pretty scary. God still knows what we did wrong. Whatever the reason we have for lying isn't good enough. We have to remember that God sees and hears everything we do. Whatever the reason we have for lying just isn't good enough. We have to remember that God sees and hears every single thing we do. We want to live good, clean lives. Do we mess up sometimes? Yes. But that's when we need to be quick to stop and pray and ask God for forgiveness. The really cool thing is that when we do that, God is super quick to forgive. By telling the truth, we show that we're different. People know that we can be believed and keep God's words in our hearts. Now let's pray, keepers. We're moving forward together Everybody hands up if you know that you're moving to another level We're not living in fear no more, man Yeah, we're taking up the mantle But we alone cannot handle We need the strength of the Father Jesus, we surrender Lord, you take over Lord, you move in You are Jehovah You're my everything, yeah We are your people Take over, establish your plan. 
Come on, get up on your feet right where you are in your room. And we're gonna turn that place right into a massive dance floor. Are you ready to celebrate? Yeah. All right now, put your hands together like this. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, let me see you jump around.
it's not by might or power, but my spirit says the Lord. Zechariah 4, 6. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us in what is true and make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us what to do what is right. 2 Timothy 3.16